Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I have come inside out of the heat. <laughs> it's actually quarter to five now, but I've been out in my garden all day. Apart from one little walk over to the post office to take um, parcel for Helen. So if you're watching Helen, your four little cardigans are on their way. And I have a little, just a little video here to show you the four cardigans. I did this this morning because um, it was going, I wanted it packed up and ready for to take over to the, um, the post office. So I'll just stop this video for a couple of few seconds. Well, that's the four cardigans, all finished, sorted, ready to pack up and send to Helen. Good job I had this one here on eBay because I never realised Helen wanted two pink ones and two white ones. But so I took it off eBay. It was for sale on eBay. Good job nobody bought it. I would have had to knit another pink one. So that was a little little walk over the post office with the um, them cardigans and I could get back on with my garden because I've been out in the garden since about half ten uh, this morning doing things, digging the um, I've got four flower beds in the middle of the, um, the large patio, I was digging those over then cutting my hedge because the hedge needed cutting and taking some of the weeds out of some of my flower pots because I haven't put any flowers, I didn't even have any flowers in last year actually and it's just a lot of weeds growing in so I was getting all the weeds out out there as well just tidying, generally tidying up the garden and it's starting to look a little bit tidier so I'm going to show you one or two things that I have been doing I'll come to stop this video again. These are a lovely flower. Belong to the onion family. You can smell onions on them, but as you can see, there's loads of seeds there, and loads of seeds grow underneath the soil. And you can never get rid of them. I found two in this patch. I've been very careful getting every single one out.
and I got back home from the, the post office about quarter past three and that was the end of my work in the garden after a walk over to the post office as well I just couldn't manage anymore so I just sat down with a cup of tea and did a little bit knitting so I will be out again tomorrow doing a bit more in the garden it won't take me so long it's not so bad once I get to start getting things done as long as this weather keeps up which is going to according to what I've seen on the weather forecast over a couple of weeks at least well that's good because I am a fair weather gardener I like it to be nice nice and warm and sunny when I do things in my garden But I got a little bit, I am busy doing the, this is the sleeve for the, um, this little 22 inch one, oh 20 inch, this is a 20 inch, I've got a 22 to do after this one, so it's the sleeve I'm doing for that one, so you not finished the ones I was doing for, um, for Helen, now I got a little bit more of my own. That's just fell on the floor. I've got so many things around this, around my settee and around my coffee table. And I have just started on the neck shaping. I started on the neck shaping last night. So I've got one side practically done. Yeah, all this wool and it's around the right way. I think I've got about another about another four rows to do on this that's what I like about when you do things with patterns when you do to come to do things like this shaping the this is the neck I have to take the stitches off in the center for the, um, the neck and then do the shaping the same as this on the other side it's easy to work out how many rows because you've got the um, the pattern to count the rows I think I have 10 rows in between the little the eyelet holes here so it's easy to work out the other side so that'll not be long for that because I'll be doing a little bit more of that tonight that's what I'm doing what I've intended doing for quite some time ago actually knitting my own things of a night time and just orders and things during the um the day oh, and I've got a broken nail as well here I must have caught it on something I've just caught it on this it's this knitting so I've got a little bit of that to do and that's all I've done in the way of knitting I haven't done any anything else any of the blankets or anything so I'll have to get on with that because I want the the rosebud blanket I want to get this one finished so I can do a picture for it for the um the pdf doesn't matter about the basket stitch one because I already have pictures of those ones that I've done um before because the, the PDF is all written up, I'm just waiting for the to finish it for to get the um the photos in. But anyway, that's just my little bit for today. And just to show you what my little bit of my gardening I've been doing, what it looks like now. I'll stop this video again for a, another minute. Well, that's some of me garden tidy. Don't know where the four flower beds. I have to get some flowers to put in them now. Got the weeds out of me containers on the top patio. The other ones want the weeds sorting out. Hedges being trimmed. Need to brush up the mess now <laughs> where I'm having a cup of tea and doing a little bit knitting. I've had a walk to the post office. Took um, Helen's parcel over the post. And tomorrow I'm going to cut the grass on the small lawn up there and the large one over there and sort start sorting the weeds out over that side 
because there's another patio behind my outhouse. Used to be my husband's workplace. It's where he used to do all his whatever he used to do, <laughs> hammering and banging. <laughs> my greenhouse is still up there. Where it keeps blowing away like with the wind. <laughs> I need something to tie it down. I can't put anything in it like I tie down. And I'm happy because my garden is starting to look much better now, much tidier. Once I get it done, it's just a matter of keeping those things tidy that I've been doing, you know, because I don't think I did much at all last year on it. That's why it's in a state that it's in this year. So anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.